All right, in this video, we are going to be learning about and using linear functions. That may sound a little scary, but a linear function is nothing more than an equation that deals with a constant rate of change. So what is a constant rate of change? Imagine a traveling car that covers 75 miles each hour. We can say that the car is traveling at a constant rate of 75 miles per hour. So the distance d that the car travels can be expressed with the linear function d equals 75h, where 75 is the constant rate and h is the number of hours driven. Another example of a linear function involves buying gas for that car. For each gallon of gas you pump, a fixed amount, say $4, is added to your total bill. You are paying $4 per gallon. Ouch. In this case, the total cost C for gasoline can be expressed with the linear function C equals 4G, where $4 is a constant rate or cost per gallon, and G is the number of gallons pumped. A couple of really quick examples like two hours would mean 150 miles, and six gallons cost $24. Let's take a look at another real world situation that can be represented by a linear function. Your band is going on tour. Math Star Energy Drink has offered to sponsor you on a U.S. summer tour for part or all 30 days in June. You choose. Here's the catch. You gotta pay your own way up front, but you'll get a record deal if you complete the tour. If you do not complete the 30-day tour, your band will have their expenses paid, but no record deal. Let's look at what you need to do to make this happen. To get you on the road, you're going to need a van. Fortunately, your drummer friend found one in the paper for $2,500. And after talks with your new tour manager, you decide that the group can all survive food, gas, and a motel for $200 per day. So our problem is, how much money do you need to scrounge up to complete all or part of the 30-day tour? First, let's think about the two types of costs in this problem. We'll start with the van, which is a fixed cost. The $2,500 represents a one-time initial purchase you'll have to make, whether you play a gig on just one day or all 30 days. Then, there's a $200 per day, which is a variable cost. Each day you spend on tour increases your total cost at a constant rate of $200 per day. Let's build a linear function to see what the given information is able to tell us. First, we'll assign some variables for this function. Let's use C for our total cost and D to represent the number of days on tour. Our linear function would read total cost equals the rate times the days plus the initial cost of the van. Let's check out how much it will cost to be on tour just one day. C equals 200 times 1 plus 2,500. So C equals the daily rate times the number of days plus that fixed cost. Therefore, C would equal $2,700. The road to fame isn't looking cheap. At this time, it would be beneficial to fill out a table to see all our costs for the whole tour instead of a couple of days at a time. Notice how the constant rate of change appears within our table. With each passing day, our cost goes up by $200. Let's see what happens to your total cost if you decide to stay 13 days to play 13 gigs. You'll multiply your daily rate by 13 days and then add the fixed cost for a total of $5,100. C equals 200D plus 2,500. C equals 200 times 13 plus 2,500. Therefore, C will equal $5,100. Now it's time to get some cash together for the big tour. After you and your bandmates call your grandparents, smash your piggy banks, and check under the couch cushions, you are able to scrape together $6,700. Good job. How many shows are you going to be able to play before you run out of cash? Let's set up a linear function. First, what's our total cost? $6,700 is all we have, so that's what we'll plug in. 
We know that we need to buy that van. That's our fixed cost of $2,500. Our daily rate is $200, but we don't know how many days we can afford to tour. So let's use D for the number of days. 6,700 equals 200 times the number of days plus our initial cost of 2,500. To solve for D, we can start by subtracting 2,500 from each side. It looks like we will be able to divide both sides by 200. Now we have D by itself. $4,200 divided by $200 leaves us with 21. So it looks like the number of days you can afford to go on tour is 21 days. Looks like your tour will only last 21 days. But what the heck, you'll get reimbursed for your travel expenses, and who needs a record deal when you have a great experience of going on tour? So there is a brief introduction to linear functions. In the next video, we are going to plot points from a table in order to graph linear functions and look at their structure to see how it relates to the important formula y equals mx plus b.